And new at six, some businesses forced to close due to the threat of COVID-19 are facing challenges in reopening. News 9's Tom Lally has the struggles and the silver lining for one Northwoods business. After 66 days without clients or a steady income, the family behind Black Sheep Inc. is once again open for business. After a late night of painting and prep, Putting out the open sign never felt so good. We finished at three in the morning last night and we had the, the tattoo room good enough that, you know, if we weren't too tired, we could work. Now they're back to work for the first time in two months. We have four kids. And so when the virus came locally, we decided for our clients and our children's safety to close. Just a few days before the statewide shutdown, Meg and Tanner Lilly closed shop. They didn't qualify for small business loans, no employees for paycheck protection. And we didn't qualify for stimulus either, so um, that left us with a whole lot of nothing. And four kids to feed, so they sold gift cards and eventually started a fundraiser. My expectations were low on what people would be willing to give. Everybody was scared. Customers and old friends stepped up, donating about $5,500. We have kept our phones on. We've kept internet to be able to do the homeschooling with the kids. The lights are still working. What they really wanted was to open again, start earning and contributing. But when the state reopened, the department that handles their licensing did not, leaving the Lilies in limbo. Now they've received an exception, returning to the life they imagined. I'm excited. I'm just excited to hear those tattoo machines buzzing again. <laughs> With more than 70 customers on hold, Black Sheep Inc. will start by seeing one at a time. The artists are wearing masks and keeping things sterile. I'll try to be punctual, be patient on getting on the books, and uh, we look forward to seeing you. As guidance from the state changes, these tattoo shops may be changing too. The owner here says she's just happy to be open again. Reporting in Manaqua, Tom Lally, News 9, WAOW.